not sure if you've been in Edinburgh recently in recent days, but I know a lot of bins rubbish is really starting to pile up, especially in the city centre. Uh, have you seen this yourself? Are you getting uh, a bit frustrated by what's going on there? I've been in Edinburgh a lot over uh, the festival. I'm in Edinburgh a lot generally. Um, first and foremost, let's you know focus on the fact that Edinburgh, uh, as it it always is during the month of August is the centre of the, the cultural world and the, the festivals are a massive success and, and I know people in Edinburgh are enjoying all that the festivals are, are delivering. Um, nobody wants to see strikes, uh, nobody wants to see the kind of disruption and impact of strikes that many people are witnessing in Edinburgh uh, right now. Uh, we live in a really uh, challenging time with inflation and double uh, figures right now, which is why the Scottish Government is determined uh, to deliver as far as we can and to facilitate as far as we can uh, fair pay deals. Uh, we've provided, and councils are the employers of the workers that you're referring to right now, we've provided more resource to local authorities to try to facilitate uh, a fairer pay deal and I'm glad to see that COSLA has now put on the table a 5% pay offer and I hope that that now paves the way to these issues being resolved. To me. A 3.5% pay increase was described by United as knowing you're good enough from COSLA. Is a 5% pay increase good enough? Look, we live in a world where inflation is running at 10%. I have huge sympathy with workers across every sector of our economy um, as a result of the, you know, the real pressures that individuals, families, households are, are living with right now. But the wherewithal to deliver more than 5% pay deals doesn't exist within the Scottish Government uh, and therefore doesn't exist for the Scottish Government to give uh, more money than we already have to councils. We have a effectively finite budget. I would like to see more resource uh, made available by the UK Government. They have the borrowing powers to do that so that all of us uh, can respond more. But we are seeking to deliver, within the resources we have, as fair as possible uh, pay settlements as we can. So if that's rejected, obviously that's the maximum you can do. Where do we go from the work? No, I'm not. Look, because I've made a, a fresh offer, I think it is appropriate and right and proper to allow that to go through the proper uh, processes of negotiation.